It's got a nice wide front uh, track, but the back is so skinny. Very strange why they did that. So even though the front's so wide, it's still kind of tippy in the corners. What's going on guys? Back again with another install. Today we're doing a little mod on the ATV, the Town Motors Cheetah 125 ATV. Um, last time we put these bad boys on, made a big, big difference. Uh, so today we're tackling one of the other major problems with these. Um, and by major problems, I mean small problem that I feel needs to be fixed. Okay, so the wheelbase on the front is way wider than the wheelbase on the back. You can kind of get an idea right there of the difference. Um, so you're looking at probably two and a half inches. Um, it's got a nice wide front uh, track, but the back is so skinny. Very strange why they did that. Um, so even though the front's so wide, it's still kind of tippy in the corners. <clears throat> and I don't really care about that, but my kids, I don't need them tipping with this thing crashing on top of them. So what we got today is from whygostock.com um, and it's the two inch wheel spacers. So let's check these out. These are nice. So two inch fat wheel spacers from whygostock.com uh, and apparently they get these I think from China and then they machine them in house so they machine these rings right here because the hubs are bigger on these so this needs to be machined out uh, so they do that there and makes it fit real nice doesn't wobble around um, and stays nice and concentric in there and also if you have the new cheetah with the alloy wheels you need to get the alloy wheel lug kit which is just these guys right here so do not forget to do that when you when you order so we're gonna put these on we're gonna see what's all entailed we're gonna do a little before and after and the install should be really easy so let's try it out okay so the track width on the front of this guy is about 38 and a half inches with the outside yeah, that's a good technique we are at 33 and a half inches so about a one two three four five inch difference <clears throat> that's what i thought it's about a five inch difference from the front to the rear um so i was looking for two and a half inch spacers i cannot seem to find them not like this at least not that's nicely machined for this vehicle it's not gonna be wobbling around. So two inches is the best we have. Um, it's probably a good thing because even though these are aluminum, <clears throat> they're actually pretty heavy. Um, I'm not sure how much they weigh, but this is a lot of weight, a lot of centrifugal weight to be spinning around for this somewhat limited power engine um, and automatic clutch and everything. So I think the extra weight might hinder the speed a little bit. We'll have to find out. Okay, so for the lugs, it is a 17 and you need a 17 on the front and a 17 on the back because it's actually a nut and a bolt. Alright, so with the wheel off, so there's this lip right here and that's where this machined uh, section fits in perfect. So when this goes on, it fits on that lip and there is no wiggle, no play. Um, so that is going to be perfectly centered. It's not going to wobble. Uh, very nice. Okay, so the bolts they want you to buy are these for the alloy rims. But the only thing I can think of why you need these is because this needs a 17, which a 17 does not fit in the hole they provide. So this needs a 14, which will fit in the hole. 
I really think that's the only reason. Um, I mean, I guess it's a good reason if that's what it needs. Oh, that's gonna be nice. All right, let's do the other side. Good job. Pull that wheel off. Alright, that went great, super easy. Probably took 45 minutes with recording, starting stopping a little bit. We were at 37 and a strong half, maybe 37 and 3 eighths. So we did gain our four inches, just like <laughs> we're supposed to. Um, still a half inch shy on both sides from the front. So I think that four inches is gonna make a huge difference and it's gonna be way less tippy. Um, now, so I can't test that tonight because it is dark and my neighbors would not like it. It looks like in there, everything fits nice, bolted up nice, that's what I'm talking about. Um, if you have the new cheetah with the alloy wheels, do not forget the, um, the wheel studs that you need with that. Shout out to whygostock.com. No, I am not sponsored. I'm nobody. Um, but I did order from them and they really came through. Shipping was fast. The price was reasonable. I mean, get what you pay for and these are really nice. So, uh, shout out to them. Their product does exactly what they said it does. It's perfect, no wobble. But thank you for watching. More things coming. Like the video, comment. I'm sure there's things I didn't cover that you have questions about. I will for sure answer those things. I don't know what my next video is, but it's coming soon. So subscribe so you get to see that. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.